What is up, guys? Hope you're all enjoying Bonus XP Weekend. This is episode 3 of my Slayer Task series, and today I'm going to be showing you how to kill, well, slay aberrant spectres. These bad boys require level 60 Slayer to kill. Two good places you can kill these is either the Slayer Tower or the Desert Slayer Dungeon. And in this video, I'll only be showing you the Desert Slayer Dungeon, as you can use a cannon there. A Slayer Helm is absolutely necessary when slaying these in the Desert Dungeon, whereas you'll only need a Nose Peg if you're slaying them in the Slayer Tower. You can teleport to the Desert Slayer Dungeon via a Ring of Slaying, or you can travel there the long way, which I'll demonstrate in this video. Aberrant Spectres are classified as Undead Monsters, so be sure to wear an Enchanted Salve Amulet from the Haunted Mine Quest, and that'll increase your attack and strength by 15%. I'm using a prayer bonus setup, so I'm using proselyte armor. You can alternatively use initiate armor or even dragon hide. I've also brought along a prayer potion because I'm going to be using protect from magic while I slay these. I actually had a couple of you guys leave me comments on my previous slayer guides about a guy called Adam Crone who also makes slayer guides, and I actually thought his name looked a bit familiar, so I went over and had a look at his page, and I. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but back when I did a guide competition, this guy was actually winner of uh, the best Slayer guide. So uh, if you're watching this, Adam, I, I really don't mean to copy you, buddy. Uh, slayer task guides are just kind of fun for me to make while I'm training the skill. But I'll be sure to put Adam Crone's channel in the description. His guides are really freaking sweet if you want to check them out. Anyways, back on with the guide. This is the charm drop percentages. Aberrant Spectres are mostly awesome herb droppers so it's going to be worthwhile bringing a beast of burden along to help you hold the extra drops. Besides dropping loads of herbs they also have a few rare drops of lava battle staffs, rune full helms, shield left halves, dragon spears, half keys, hard clue scrolls, effigies and even champion scrolls. You'll see in the video I'm using a dwarf cannon to kill these and makes the task really quick, really fast XP. So I really actually quite enjoy getting this task now. Also guys, oh my god, right before I did this video, I just watched a uh, Call of Duty gameplay where a guy got 500 kills. 500 kills in a Black Ops game. So if you're into Call of Duty, I'll put the link to that video in the description. And these guys absolutely destroy a team, and if you just, if you look at the end on the scoreboards, you'll see on the enemy team, these two split screeners got something like 300 deaths each. And it's mostly down to spawn trapping, but... But damn, if I get killed just a few times in Call of Duty, my controller gets flung at the wall. I really don't know what these guys were thinking to stay in such a game. Anyway, later guys, shout out to my friends at runzone.com. Rune Radio. Send in a request by clicking the link. Check out our forum and join in the discussion. RuneZone.com, your number one source for everything Skype.